Hey there students, um, on this clip we're going to be going over uh, some examples on how to use modular arithmetic to compute powers of time. Okay, so before we get started uh, on the actual examples, we're going to go over the formula that connects modular arithmetic with the whole algorithm or process of computing powers of i. So the formula we're going to be using today is uh, i to the n power is basically equal to i to the n modulo 4 or n mod 4 okay this whole um, idea lies on the fact that when you're raising i to any power there's a cyclical pattern that happens if you call, if you go if you exceed the fourth power all right so let's write down what i'm talking about real quick um if you have i i to the first power that's just simply i and remember i is basically the square root of negative one so this is a nice way of expressing this this imaginary number. If you have i to the second power is negative 1 square, which is negative 1. i to the third power is the product of these two, which is negative i. And i to the fourth power is i squared times itself, which is negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1. All right, it's imperative that you have these four um, powers of i memorized because this pattern keeps repeating itself over and over again. If that's too much for you, you can memorize the first two and then use these two to derive um, the other two, okay? All right, so what happens when we exceed powers of four? Guess what? This pattern keeps repeating itself. It's like cyclical. So we have i to the fifth power. i to the fifth power is basically i to the first times i to the fourth. That's what i times one, which is just i. i to the uh, sixth power is like i squared times i to the fourth which is negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1. i to the 7th power is i to the 3rd times i to the 4th. Multiplying these two values, you're going to have negative i. And then i to the 8th power is i to the 4th times itself, which is 1 times 1, which is 1. You see how this pattern repeats again? So if we do that again, we're going to go i to the 9th power. i to the 9th power is basically i to the 4th times i to the 5th, which is i, because you have 1 times i i to the 10th uh, power is i to the 6 times i to the 4th, which is negative 1. And then i to the 11th power is i to the 7 times i to the 4th, which is negative i. And then i to the 12th power is i to the 4th times i to the 8th, which is 1 times 1, which is just 1. So this pattern keeps on repeating itself over and over again, okay? So if following this pattern, you can also determine what values like i to the 120 is, for example. Okay, but you don't want to do this pattern all the way to 120, or you don't want to write it down because we don't have time for that. We're going to use the fact that this is it repeats itself in a cyclical manner in multiples of four to determine uh, higher powers without doing all this work. Okay, so that brings us to the whole idea of using modular arithmetic to compute powers of i. So, what on earth is this expression n modulo 4? Well, n modulo 4. It's just a fancy way of saying the remainder, the remainder after dividing, after dividing by 4. Okay, so that's what n modulo 4 equals. All right, so let me give you some examples to help you understand what, how to compute n modulo 4 or the whole idea of modular arithmetic. And then we're going to apply to finding higher powers of i, okay? So, example A, uh, what is the value of 7 modulo 4, 7 mod 4? Well, what does this mean? It means that what do you get when, what, do you, what is the remainder after 7 is divided by 4? 7 divided by 4 is 3, I'm sorry, <laughs> 7 divided by 4 is 1, seven, 4 goes into 7, 1 times 1, remainder 3. Okay, because you know 4 times 1 plus 3 equals 7, right? So since the remainder is 3, 7 modulo 4 equals 3. Just the remainder. Modulo cares only about the remainder after dividing by this value here. All right, let's try another example. Example B. What is 48? Uh, now let's do what is 40, yeah, 48 modulo 4. 48 modulo 4. What is the value of that? So for 48 modulo 4, the question is, 
What do you what is the remainder after you divide 48 by 4? So 48 divided by 4 is 12 because 4 times 12 is 48, the remainder is 0. Since the remainder is 0, 48 modulo 4 equals 0. Alright? Alright, let's try two more examples. C. What is uh, um, 5 modulo 4? Or 5 modulo 4? All this is asking is what happens, what's the remainder after 5 is divided by 4? If 5 is divided by 4, 5 divided by 4 is 1, because 4 goes into 5. One time, remainder 1. The remainder here is 1, right? Because we know that 5 is 4 times 1 plus the remainder 1, that's 5, right? So since so the remainder is 1, 5 mod 4 is simply 1. Alright, one last example, uh, example B. Uh, what is 2? This one's not counterintuitive. What is 2 modulo 4? 2 mod 4. Well, the question is when 2 is divided by 4, what's the remainder? If 2 is divided by 4, you have basically 0 whole numbers, remainder 2. So the remainder here is 2, right? Because we know that 4 is basically 0 times 2 plus 2, right? So since the remainder is 2, 2 modulo 4 equals 2. Alright, so this is this is the whole idea of what n mod uh, 4 is. So n mod 4 is basically the remainder after you divide by 4. So let's connect this to the whole idea of finding powers of um, i. These are the actual examples that we're going to be focusing on. Examples. So the task here is to find the value of each power of i. Each power Okay, all right, example number one. What is the value of i to the 10th? i to the 10th, using the formula I stated earlier, the formula that I said was i to the n is the same thing as i to the n modulo 4, mod 4, okay? So if I apply that idea here, i to the 10th is going to become i to the 10 modulo 4, 10 mod 4. All right, what on earth does that mean? Is that what is the remainder after 10 is divided by 4? So 10 divided by 4, we know this 4 goes into 10 two times, which is 8, remainder 2. All right? So 10 mod 4 is 2 because that's the remainder. So this i to the 10th power mod 4 is the same thing as i to the second power because that's the remainder. So what is i squared? Remember the chart we talked about earlier? I squared is negative 1, so I squared here is simply negative 1, and there goes your final answer. Okay? Alright, let's try another example, example 2. What is the value of I to the 13th power? Well, the same thing as I to the 13th modulo 4. What is 13 mod 4? 13 mod 4 is the remainder after 13 is divided by 4. 13 divided by 4, 4 goes into 13 three times, which is 12. Remainder what? Remainder 1. So i to the 13 modulo 4 is the same thing as i to the first power, because 13 mod 4 is 1, which is the remainder. i to the first power based on our formula, which is this chart we just generated, is just simply i. And there goes your final answer. Alright? Okay. Uh, let's try another example. Number three, what is uh, i to the 35th power? i to the 30, 35th power. Well, using the formula here, i to the 35th is i to the 35 modulo 4. Okay? What is 35 modulo 4? It is the remainder after 35 is divided by 4. 35 is divided by 4, 4 goes into 35 eight times, which is 32. 32 needs three more digits to get to 35, which is uh, 3. Okay? So 35 divided by 4 is 8, 32 remainder 3. So 35 modulo 4 is 3. So i to the 35 modulo 4 is i to the third power because 3 is the remainder after 35 is divided by 4. So what is i to the third using the chart we came up with earlier? Uh, i to the third is negative i, right? Or you can think of it as i squared times i, and then your answer is going to be negative i. Okay?
All right, one last example. What is a uh, I uh, to the uh, 100 power? I to the 100 power. What is the value of that? Well, to do this, we just compute I to the 100 modulo 4. What is a uh, 100 modulo 4? Well, it is the remainder after 100 is divided by 4. If 100 is divided by 4, you have 25. Remainder, 0. So the remainder is 0. This is what 100 modulo 4 is. So i to the 100 modulo 4 is i to the 0. Because that's the remainder. And i to the 0, we know, is equal to 1. Okay? So there goes your answer. Box this. And box that. Alright? So, um... Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel um, by clicking the link up here. Subscribe. And also you can share this with your friends. More videos coming up on notgoodserve.com. You can check it out. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.